Hello, YouTube! If you did not know, I hit Twitch Partner, which is a really cool and really uh, awesome thing that I um, am very, very proud of. Um, I hit it on March 25th of this year. Um, and so I got a bunch of my friends together to celebrate. Uh, and we did a PowerPoint night. Let's just say that this PowerPoint night got a little saucy. I hope you enjoy. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello, Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. We made Happy it. Months. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Y'all's ready for a, a heckin' PowerPoint night out here? Hell yeah. I cannot wait. What the fuck? <laughs> after <laughs> after after seeing all y'all's like previews of y'all's powerpoints, I must say, I don't think everybody's ready out here. I don't think oh. everyone's ready to see these powerpoints. No. No. But I think it'll be a good time. <laughs> okay, fair. I think it'll be a good one. Um, to get us I started, think... I can go first. I'll I'll okay. I'll clear I'll clear the clear the energy out here. We start a slideshow. It's bigger. Oh, I can. Yes, you can. You should be able to make it bigger. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, hang on. I gotta move my camera on my own screen. Give me a second. Mood. I'm nervous. I'm blocking myself. I will say if I just like randomly die, it's like literally the world's yeah. falling over here. <laughs> Can you please not do that? Please I love you that. so much. Yeah. It's not me, it's much. the sky. I, I, I can't control the weather, okay? It's the sky. <laughs> it's the sky. <laughs> Casual. Casual, it's the sky. Alrighty. So, um, for my PowerPoint tonight, everybody, I chose to do, uh, Stardew Valley Yearbook Superlatives uh, by me, Lee, MSCFSLP. <laughs> <laughs> that is Beautiful. my that is my professional title. <laughs> With my I didn't degree. know we were supposed to sign these. Wait. <laughs> well, no, it's just a thing where chat pretends that this is my last name because my last name is last not public. Name reveal. Yeah. It's beautiful, I love it. So this is my last name. Okay. So starting out hot here. We have uh, most likely to be an undercover spy for Mr. QI, um, or Qui, or Chi, or however you would like to pronounce that. <laughs> I, I don't really care, <laughs> but it's, you know, most likely to be an undercover spy for him. It's, it's Gunther. I feel like this one's pretty obvious, pretty straightforward out here. Um, Gunther, hella mysterious, hella, you know, we don't know what's going on. Does he have legs? We will never know, right? So I think he does would definitely be. Does he have be... a goatee? Does yeah, he have a goatee, say. or is it just hair? <laughs> is it a goatee, or is it his hair? Exactly. Will we I, ever know? I think that it's a goatee, but I don't know what y'all's opinions are on that. We've got a lot to go through. I will be honest. There are seventy slides on this, so oh <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh god. I'm gonna do my best I to saw, move. I, past I, did, and I was like, how many? I'm like, did I not follow the assignment Mine correctly? Like I 12. don't have seventy. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have seventy slides. I made seventy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 70? Okay, no, I have like eight, eight slides. <laughs> so like if you oh, if you goodness. divide it in half, you know, like 30 something and that that's that's you know 30 something is the title. Okay. So most likely be a lightweight as expected, right? <laughs> um I would say that that would be Maru, just because, you know. I don't know. I, I this is just based on <laughs> I honestly, it, yeah. I I just went through, I just made a bunch of these and I was like, you know what? Uh, she's given off the vibe that she might be a lightweight. And I was like, I think it's just based upon myself. I'm a science nerd. So I figured, you know, and I'm also a lightweight. So I figured she would probably also be a lightweight in this scenario. Oh, I feel like this one is also obvious. This is most likely to cheat on their spouse. Um, you'll see who this is when I click forward. Oh, <laughs> yep. It's just my opinion. I yeah. believe that this is the, uh, that this is the, that, uh, you know, Abigail's dad just happens to be, uh, the wizard and not Pierre. That's the one that I like to buy into, but, you know, to each their own. So, I think it might be Caroline. Uh, most likely to join a, a, a pyramid screen- a, nope, a pyramid scene? Nope. I can pronounce things. A pyramid scheme. Okay. No, it's no. Emily and Caroline. <laughs> Dang uh, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're they're gonna be Emily. your, like, Emily's gonna be, like, your crystal- Crystal Gal mm -hmm. Pyramid Scheme, and then Caroline, I feel like she would definitely get into selling Avon, and, uh, be a part <laughs> of an MLM, so, 
I can see how... that. This is kind of the vibe. Uh, most likely to not realize the brownies they were eating were special. <laughs> 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 and I have to say that that belongs to both Pierre and Pierre Lewis. Oh my god. I feel like uh, <laughs> someone would leave them on the counter and then both of these would gentlemen would definitely uh, pick these up for sure. Can I, ask, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. Why is Pierre so much larger than Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just I just copied and pasted them in and just resized them to fit them on the page. That's all that it was. He's it's so it's, big. it's who who has the bigger ego? Wow, Pierre. It's fair. Boom. Fair. Who's the, who's the most lit? Uh, most likely to lead a protest to take down Joe Demart. I got I got uh, Lioness and both Mario. Mario, as in like, she would be highly educated and would lead some kind of um, protest in that yep. regard. And then Lioness, you know, Peace Corps kind of uh, nature environmentalist protest out here for sure. Uh, most likely to die in the mines. Again, I feel like this one might be straightforward. Um, you might not be expecting this one though, but uh, most likely to die in the mines. It's me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's that's it. hilarious. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me. There's no one else. <laughs> I love the parrot on your shoulder, actually. Thank that's you. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, just did you die in the Skull Caverns today? I did multiple times. However, we oh, did awesome. a lot better than we did before. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I did my reattempt of the skull of the uh, Stardew Valley Trials, I think the highest that Carrie and I got up to was eighty something, eighty eight, around that range. So we'll take it in Skull Caverns Hard Mode. We did a reattempt of the Stardew Valley Trials one. So still didn't beat Lachat and Habu's floor number, but we got up to eighty eight. So I'll take it. To be fair, yeah. he carried me, so you're fine. It's okay, carry all carry also carried me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was him getting to level 88 on his own, not me. So good stuff. <laughs> um, most likely to poison uh Mayor Luce's coffee and become the new mayor. I got Robin and the wizard. I could definitely see the wizard, like, you know, casually poisoning uh Mayor Lewis somehow and then taking over completely. Um, and then Robin is just the obvious choice with this one. She's, I feel like she's trying to gain mayorship anyways. Uh, most likely to cause a dramatic scene at the Feast of the Winter Star. Haley and Jazz. Like, if they got, there. if they got a horrible gift at the Feast of the Winter Star, they would be the ones that would be, you know, causing the most dramatic stream. I could see Jazz crying. I could see Haley just, like yelling and getting upset but those are those are the main ones most likely to forget to bring an item for the community soup uh the community soup of course being the luau um this one was tricky but i felt that this one was sam i only say sam because sam would be like he would be really apologetic about it is the main thing i see that i see that for sure is that he would forget it and then it would be like he would be like panicking a little bit because he's still, you know, a very sweet, sweet boy. Sweet yeah, pal. Most likely to accidentally eat a red mushroom out here, uh, which would then, you know, cause them to pass out, of course. And I would say that would be either Emily or Vincent. Vincent, you know, his child, I feel like he would just pick it up and think it looks cool on the ground and then stick it in his mouth. Um, and then Emily, of course. Uh, again, she, you know, I feel like she's got, like, major, like, she might also want to be inter interested in, like, foraging of sorts. I don't know. She just kind of gave off those vibes. Uh, most likely to fight Pierre, other than Morris, out here. Um, this would be, of course, Pam. <laughs> I would love to see a fist fight between Pam and Pierre, just because, uh, it would be... Oops. One heck of Sorry, a showdown. Guys. One heck of a showdown out here. Um, most likely to blackmail other villagers, other uh, other characters in the game. Uh, of course, we had to go with the two most manipulator people of the entire game. That, of course, is Alex and Haley. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no doubt in my mind that both Alex or Haley would blackmail other people. 
um, and would manipulate them. Gaslight girl keep? Nope. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Uh, most likely to get sunburned on Ginger Island is, of course, uh, both Harvey and Pierre out here uh, are two two boys with glasses. I mean, if you've seen their Ginger Island fits, you you know already that they're going to be it's the ones hard. getting uh, they're going to be the ones that are getting sunburned. Harvey's gin a Ginger Island fit. Concerned Ape just did him dirty. Just did him absolutely dirty with it, so. Most likely to send you a drunk text out here, I would have to say is uh, both Alex and Sam. Alex being, <laughs> um... <laughs> Alex being, um, the, like, trying to hook up with you text, and Sam being, like, a mushy, like, I love you drunk text in that kind of situation. Not like a... <laughs> Not like a, um, trying to hook up text like Alex would be. Most likely to trip and fall into the fountain by the community center, of course, has to be a, the only only person I can imagine, which would be Mayor Lewis. <laughs> yeah, because he hangs by there, like, for hours, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's the only one that just, like, stands there for hours upon hours a day. So, I could see him just accidentally, you know, reaching in and then falling in pretty quickly. Most likely to snitch on Lewis and Marty, of course, I would have to say would be Haley. I was sure that was going to be you. I mean, me. <laughs> yeah, true. I, it would be me, but also Haley. Haley likes the drama. Yeah. She likes, I feel like she's very, um, she's a very popular girl where she, she wants to know everything about everyone. So I would say that she would be the one to snitch on Lewis and Marty. Most likely to steal Mayor Lewis's gold statue from his house, of course. Sam. Yep. Uh, yeah. Sam and Sebastian. I feel like they would be a great heist team together. Like, um, Sam would be the would be the muscles, and Sebastian would be the brain and the hacker type to get into wherever. Um, but also just to mess around with uh, Mayor Lewis, of course. Most likely to win Stardew Valley Trials out here. If, you know, if all the villagers were competing in the Stardew Valley Trials, who do I think would actually win? I would say that would be either Abigail or Maru. Because Abigail, you know, she's the only one with mining background of sorts. And Maru, um, she's got a big brain. So, she's got a big brain. She's very smart. So, I think that she would win. Most likely to secretly be a furry. <laughs> 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 I feel like this one might be self-explanatory, but... <laughs> I just have to say that, uh... Marlin gives me kind of dog vibes, or wolf vibes, and Elliot also gives me similar wolf vibes, but also Elliot's mane, like, hair makes me think of a lion every time that I see him. So, I would say that they're most likely to be a furry out here. Most likely to get ID'd at the Stardrop Saloon? Emily and Mara. I think that they just look the youngest. That's about it. There's no... There's no, um... Hidden meaning behind this. Other than the children. Obviously, like, they look the youngest. But out of out of all of the, like, the Bachelorettes and the Bachelors and, uh... The rest of the characters, I would say that they would get ID'd. I know Emily works there, okay? I know Emily works there, but I feel like she would get ID'd if she walked into the saloon and she wasn't, like, you know, I would agree with that, 100%. She would get ID'd. Most likely to streak naked through Pelican Town while drunk. Where did you get these ideas? <laughs> <laughs> In my Discord. Um, also myself. This one is myself. Um, it would be Sam. I feel like she could just imagine that um, on its own, but I feel like if he was drunk, he would easily be uh, able to, you know, just streak through town. He would be down. He would be down. Uh, most likely to steal your stuff when you die in the mines? Linus, and of course, uh, and the henchman. The henchman is just a little little gremlin, so I feel like he would be, he would snatch something from you. You never know. 
Uh, most likely to end up on Forbes 30 under 30 list. We of course have uh, Robin and Maru. Uh, Robin for her art and uh, Maru for her technology. Um, both two very smart gals. So I feel like they would definitely end up on their 30 under 30 list for sure. That's Leah. Did I say Robin? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely said Robin. It's Leah. I know who that is. It's Leah for her art. I meant to say Leah, not Robin. They both have red hair. I'm sorry. I got Robin on the mind. Um, most likely to I mean, use... who doesn't? <laughs> um, most likely to use Yova's name in vain. Of course, you know how we all say, uh, we might say the words, uh, G damn it. Um, but I would imagine that someone would be, someone might, you know, use Yoba's name in vain by saying, well, I guess you can't really say Yoba, damn it. That doesn't really work the same way, but uh -huh. you never know. <laughs> uh, but of course, that would be the troublemakers of the town, uh, Shane, Sebastian, <laughs> and Pam. Wow, not my Sebastian. He would never... He would. You know that he would. He would. <laughs> I feel yeah. like he would swear quite a bit. Okay, but what if it was like a scream like Yoba uh, instead of like, you know. Okay. To make to make you happy, I will allow that one. Um, so most likely now to go broke in Calico Desert, uh, in the Calico Desert casino, uh, would of course have to be both uh both Shane and Pierre out here. Um Shane, I feel like is I don't know. I feel like Shane could end up broke. He's spending every night at the bar. So I feel like, you know, you never know if he ends up in the casino. Who, who knows? Uh, and then Pierre. Pierre and his secret stash. We still don't know what that secret stash is, but I feel like somehow he might he might easily go broke. He might spend every uh, every penny that he has uh, in the casino. Uh, we <laughs> also have most likely to have had a club penguin phase. As in, uh, most likely to have had, uh, you know been on Club Penguin during during a lot of well that was still active and of course I have to say that that would be Abigail our gamer girl out here our fantastic our fantastic gamer this one we have most likely to, I'm almost done I promise I don't know how many more I have but I'll, I think we're almost done <laughs> there's a lot of these signs. now that I'm going through here you're um, good most likely to overthrow the patriarchy, uh, I would have to say is uh, Robin and uh, Sandy. I feel like Sandy is a very strong character, even though we don't know too much about her. Um, but also both women business owners, so I feel like they would they would step up to the plate there. Uh, most likely to make being gluten free their entire personality. Um, you know those people that like constantly oh, yeah. talk about, you know, their allergies and things like that, too. Um, I mean, it's important, but sometimes people make it just their entire personality out here. Um, and so, I would have to say that that would be Leah. Um, I feel like she's yeah. very natural and holistic in, uh, in nature out there. She lives, you know, by herself, not even in town. She lives off to the side, so. I feel like she would make being gluten-free her entire personality. Also, her love gifts is, like, her loved gifts is like cheese and wine, so I feel like she would easily make being love salad. salad. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And salad too. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to camp in the van while ghost hunting out here. Um, I was doing this one while I was uh, ghost hunting last night in Phasmo. Um, so I would have to say this person is somebody who primarily, you know, is a little is a little bit scared at a scared towards ghosts and you know wouldn't put themselves out there so to speak um so i would have to say that this would be clint and slash or penny mainly clint uh just because i feel like he would be too scared too much of a scaredy cat to leave the van uh while ghost hunting so um and then penny i just thought that she was too soft and that she would wanna she i don't know if she would really want to help out the team uh, most likely to be down to do a slip and slide. So, like, if you put a slip and slide outside, if y'all know what that is, um, <laughs> hopefully y'all know what that is, right? You know what a slip and slide is? Yeah. Everybody? 
Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that my terminology of the of the slip and slide wasn't, I have was a universal memories, yes. t- terminology. Okay. Please explain <laughs> to me in detail what a slip and slide is. <laughs> Brooke. Okay. Like I'm five. Explain like I'm five. I think you know, Brooke. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Wait, you what? Why are we going here? <laughs> Why are we winking? This is a child's <laughs> game. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is going the right way. Okay, um, the slip and slide. It's just you, you, all you do is you um, you well, I mean, you can buy one from the store, but otherwise you just put a tarp down and you put some soap on the tarp and then you slide down a hill. Uh, and you go super fast with to- with the uh, with the soap and water, and you just slide. Um, so if you brought this up to somebody and was like, "Hey, I want to do a slip and slide," who out of the entire um, townspeople would actually be down for that? Um, it would of course be Abigail, Sam, and Emily. That's what I was talking about, by the way, y'all. You guys have some different minds. Is all I'll say. You said, <laughs> you said, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, yeah, exactly. Wink, nudge, and nudge. I thought you were going wink, in wink. a different Let's direction. Let's put on our bathing suits and slip down that slide. Like, that's, uh-huh. I don't see anything wrong with that. Wow. <laughs> Definitely. Um, most likely to be down for tequila shots. Um, before my... the slip and slide. Before the slip and slide. <laughs> Absolutely. Before the slip and slide. Um. Tequila is my drink of choice, so, you know, who would I want to actually, you know, take shots with, um, on the weekend? Uh, and I feel like that would have to be, of course, Abigail, Sam, and, uh, the curveball, of course, here is Jody. Um, Jody would be, uh, I, I, I voted for Jody mainly because she gives off big of my mom energy, um, because, of course, Jody, um, my mom at my brother's graduation party would like ring a bell and then bring out tequila shots for everybody. So I think that Jody would also, you know, potentially do that. She would be down. Like if you went out to the bar with your mom, I feel like Jody, Jody would be the You're one that you would want to go that with. Jody's a, not a regular mom. Jody's a cool mom. Jody is yeah, a cool mom. Exactly. We love Jody here. Most likely to invest in NFTs. God. Uh, Oh, Gross. <laughs> NFTs are disgusting, but I think it would yep. be Demetrius and Elliot. Yep. Um, Demetrius, you know, just thinking that they're, you know, being a getting into, you know, investing of sorts and Elliot just because he thinks that they're cool. We're almost finished. I know that there's like three more left or so. We got most likely to have the worst road trip snacks. Uh, these are my least two favorite people in the game. Uh, of course, that would be Kent and Clint. I feel like they would have the weirdest and the grossest um, snacks that they would want to have there. Armadillas keep digging. Uh, and of course, our last one here, uh, most likely to commit backyard. arson. That, of course, being the henchman and uh, Abigail out here. Abigail, just because, you know, she's got... She's got um, those fighting skills still, so I think that she's got it in her. Um, and then I think that the henchman might, you know, he might just suddenly commit arson. Um, and that concludes us, uh, Stardew Valley Superlatives. Thanks, y'all, for thank y'all for Claps, claps. That was awesome. That was iconic. Thank you. I love it so much. <laughs> we are good when we're making this. If I was you like, heard I know me, that Brooke Al's gonna really oh, appreciate this. Oh my god! I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome to Girls' Night, everybody. I can't be real ways. simple, but Let's real go. important. All right, are we ready? Yes. Oh yeah. Welcome to Pictures of Sebastian. Um, for those of you who do not know, Sebastian's most likely my favorite. Uh, bachelor of the bachelors in the valley um there's no competition okay so first picture we just got the uh the you know the classic there's there's sebastian honestly perfect next one oh damn i don't know how to feel about this right now i love oh, next one. You 
All right. I'm, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let everybody just kind of like sit in silence. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right. We're just gonna react to these Next photos. One. Love it. I love this, this one. Why is, um, is the frog look so at the cute little frog. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the frog. I love him so much. Oh my Next god. Next one. Not the little plushy face. Adore it. Next. This one's blurry. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Why. So it's blurry, but it's so pretty though. This one's probably my favorite. Um, I love the snow in the background. I don't know. What's love he doing with his hands though? Um, I well, think you know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was an honest question. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing with his hands? I asked, I said, what's he doing with his hands, though? That's waiting, all I waiting said. for the cigarette. It's his right, cigarette. Right. Here's another one. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> and then what are we winking now? Terrible, terrible quality of him yeah. working on his little motorcycle. Amazing. Nice. Love, love it. I like this one a lot. I like the like winter pictures, Sebastian in like the winter time. Another, uh, by the way, smoking is really bad for you. So don't do that. And that's it. <laughs> that's all wow. I got, baby. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I must that say, so your serotonin. Um, kept it real simple here. So Arlie, love I know it. we've never met, but I have heard that you love Haley, so I was wondering why you didn't have like a Haley sidekick. I love Haley? Yeah, that's what I heard. From who? <laughs> All lies. All lies. This is the real tea. I don't I don't hate her, but <laughs> Did uh... you hear Arlie though? Arlie was like, from who? <laughs> I would love to know like where this gossip originated I'm from. I'm sorry, but... I don't uh I don't Arlie's like, who's Hell. gonna catch oh, these my hands own. today? <laughs> Who the hell is gossiping about me? It's fine. It's fine. It's probably like shock or something. Anyway. It, it um, was. It was like... I just read it in chat. Not gonna... <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Someone is more than welcome to go next. I kind of want to go next. Blink, let's go! Go ahead, right. Blink. <laughs> well, okay, let's do this. <laughs> I don't have 70 slides, but I got a lot of a lot of something. Hopefully I can explain it right. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is a Stardew Valley secret strip club reveal. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, it, um, wait, let me pull up my Little friend here. Star drop oh, X, 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 X. Saloon. Triple X. Oh, with this photo of Gus. Um, many of you may not know this, but on Saturday nights, <laughs> Star Drop Saloon turns into Star Drop X, X, X Saloon. <laughs> so I'm going to present our top tier go go dancers, aka strip, um, strip dancers. We all know Haley's got to be in there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, this is the low factor. Okay. AKA oh, Harvey. Um, <laughs> I was not uh, this is the only this. full body pick, so enjoy. Um, his item is, of course, um, quote unquote <laughs> syringe. But however you want your <laughs> your mind to run with that, do as you oh, will. No. Hey, right. <laughs> <And then, laughs> not okay. Ooh. Um, so, um, wait. Backstory: Gus runs a highly erotic show in a secret basement of the bar in uh, Pelican Town's finest. If you ever get a chance to stumble upon during the teaching hours, you're in for a treat. So, yeah, here's a sneak peek. So, yeah, the first one is Harvey, the Love Doctor, and then we got. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, oh, thank no. you. No. <laughs> Wham Pam. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. <laughs> AKA Pam. <laughs> Premium packages include belly shots. No. no. Oh, whatever whatever shots you want, just let Gus know. He'll he'll put it right on her belly. <laughs> oh. You're gonna get like some lip. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no! What is it? No. <laughs> Take it back! <laughs> oh no! Did you bring back this Pam? Is... 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> no, okay, so <laughs> this is... This is... <laughs> This is Kerbussy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Kerbus. His strip tease special is <laughs> Lights Off Lap Dance. Monka TOS. The best in town. <laughs> like Kerbussy, though. And we got Marnie. Oh my god. I was gonna oh put god. Little, but we call her the dirty secret up in here. Oh. So this is Marnie. Too soon. Her strip tease item is Purple Thongs. <laughs> <laughs> and we got <clears throat> Gunther the Librarian. His exotic special is show and tell. Oh my <laughs> Whatever god. Whatever you want him to show, he'll tell you in your ear. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got Crystal. Oh. AKA Abigail. Her strip team. Uh, oh, I forgot to add one other item. My bad. But I did this in a rush, guys. It's, it's off a whim. It's fine. It's spicy it's eels in your great. imagination. Just sell it. You're fine. There you go, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> we got improv. Okay, Emerald, aka Emily. <laughs> Strictly special. Rock my socks. <laughs> okay, and we got pink cheeks, aka oh. Haley. Oh. oh. My. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, why is she double caked up? <laughs> Strip tea special double caked up on a Friday night. <laughs> and we got Nurse Hottie, aka Maru. Her special appearances are with the Love Doctor. <laughs> we got Magic Owl up in here. No, Alex. no, oh, no, no. <laughs> Sexy time item, any balls requested? <laughs> uh. Oh no! This is my favorite, yeah, Magic Owl's my favorite. We got- No! <laughs> no, Gabriella! <laughs> Why would you do this to her? No! no. <laughs> Grandma! Bro! <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> She digs some cookies out of the trash. No. <laughs> we got Tatiana. <laughs> Tatiana. Hey, Evelyn. Her premium special. No. You get to pay to eat her cookies <laughs> oh. of her body. But, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the best. Not the best. <laughs> we got Daddy Sabati, aka oh. Sebastian. Oh, I don't mind your business about the typo. Street Street dance. I was in a hurry, okay? <laughs> Street dances. <laughs> Strip dances oh. with his motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Who's enjoying the show? We got Clint. We have George. We have oh, no. the oh. Sandy. What's this guy's um, name? The guy Morris? from Jojo Mart? Yeah. yeah Morris? Guy, guy, Morris? Kent. We got um Linus, Leah, and um uh oh, what's God. what's his name? Marlon, you know he's in the crowd. Marlon. And Key. Oh god. Oh god. There you go. Star Drop XXX Saloon. Thank you for stopping by. That's it for me, guys. My eyes blink. Flop. Flop. I love it. I'm really. I want you to know I'm going to be suing for emotional damage. I know people in chat were just saying that they're gonna request, they're gonna Venmo request me tomorrow morning for damages. <laughs> yeah, I needed to get that. I needed to rip the band aid off. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh, my cheeks oh. hurt. That was a good me one. Too. Yeah, my cheeks also hurt. <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, I went with 10 Stardew characters I would leave my partner for. This is modded edition. So, just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> fine. Of course. <clears throat> First off, no one. I'm, I'm a wholesome person. 
cozy comfy would never even consider leaving my partner for a pixelated character. Like, what? Oh, no. No. And then we have number two, which is Shane. Um, <laughs> modded Shane is an absolute zaddy, troubled past, handsome, definitely main character energy. The one that's, like, super uh, trauma dumps on you and then develops over time. Yeah, 100% would pick uh, Shane, you know. Uh, number... Three is Penny, sweet, innocent, could tell you some solid bedtime stories. Our four is Harvey. You know, hot doctor vibes. We we can feel it. We can feel it. Mile high club, take you oh, up God. in that that hot air balloon. Dude. I mean, oh my God, I need him to stare at me. Yeah, just I, say <laughs> I mean, look at look at the first picture. He it's is staring at you into your oh soul. My gosh. <laughs> With and it's without the doctor it. coat on, yeah, love exactly, it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we had to mix it up here so you guys can get the full full package, okay? So like, yeah, of course, of course, the doctor, good job, take care of you, like 100%. Um, then we have Maru. Maru could literally step on me and... <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, look at these glasses. <laughs> Look at his finger, like, oh. yes. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yes. And then we could do science experiments together. I don't know, like, what is that? The, the vinegar and, and baking soda? <laughs> is, is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Science experiments. <laughs> Number six. Morris. And this is a hot take, but Modded Morris is a hot businessman Hello. that could absolutely get it. <laughs> wow. I mean, he's the Valley's finest. I don't know any other person in the Valley that's wearing a suit. Excuse me? Yes. That I mean, we don't need any other reason than just hot businessman vibes. I could turn into a chair for him. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering. Oh We're God. seeing Morris now. Who else could we possibly <laughs> see? Oh, no. well. Do not put Pierre on there. Please do not put Pierre on there. Mm. Oh, trust me. It gets better. Oh, We have Linus. Oh. Linus is like that one hot guy you dated in college who didn't have a job and you weren't even oh sure God. if he was in school. But somehow everyone knew him and he's always asking to borrow money, but you're like still dating him anyways because he's like so hot. A learning experience you won't regret. <laughs> We had to add the shirtless pictures for. <laughs> well, I mean, that one that cut scene. scene in the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that why? He's... Oh, <laughs> I didn't know why they added a shirtless line. <laughs> the realization. Oh, no, not from that cut scene. <laughs> no. Oh, I guess we'll be coming better friends with Linus very soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Then, number number eight, wizard. Of course, I mean, oh oh my god, Wiz wizard got me feeling things. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse like me. A bark. <laughs> the turtle <laughs> might have to go oh. on a slip and slide with him. <laughs> <laughs> hello, <laughs> wizard. Ten out of ten will give you a magical time. Okay, magic guarantee. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <sighs> Number nine, Mr. Chi. Oh my god. Previously creepy, <laughs> now mysteriously hot. You would have no problem drinking the snake milk now. Just look at this, glasses and all. How 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 even? Now we've gone through quite a few people here, and. I'm sure Lee is personally gonna love number ten oh, because no. I I love number ten. Um, it's Clint. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um, oh. in this version of Clint, obviously something traumatic is very ha like it's happened. He has gotten built. Tanned, Something's happening tattooed. to me. Um, the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's some. It just seems mysterious oh and, and, and and beautiful now. And I don't. I don't know. It just. Yeah, yeah. Clint would be number one pick here. He works well with his hands. Um, 
<laughs> well, so uh, yeah. Is that a yeah. snake on his neck? Uh, yeah, of Seems course. Like tough. It. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. So yeah, th those are the ten people. I, I hope you I hope you enjoyed that. Wait a <laughs> second, hold great. on. Sebastian wasn't on that list? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. color, color me shocked. <laughs> we gotta keep everybody on their toes, okay? Oh True. my god. True. Alright, y'all ready? Alright, so this, this is Avatar, the last farmer. It was gonna, it was gonna maybe be Avatar, Legend of Stardew Valley, but, you know. Alrighty. So this, uh, is clearly from Avatar Last Airbender. <laughs> if you haven't watched it, then this is gonna mean nothing to you. Alright, moving on. <laughs> Time to <clears throat> read my intro. Water. Earth. Fire. <laughs> air. Long ago, all the farms lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when Grandpa died. <laughs> Only the Avatar, master of farming, fishing, mining, and dating, could stop Joja from taking over. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A few years passed, and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar, a farmer named Lee. Oh, no. And although her farming skills Aww. are great, Aww. she has a lot to learn before she's ready to save anyone. But I believe <laughs> Lee can save Stardew Valley. Alright. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to tell you what I think each villager would be. Like, what bender they would be. So let's start with the waterbender, shall we? Alright, first up, we have Elliot. Now, this is pretty obvious. He lives on the ocean. He likes that beach. He loves the smell. It's just, it's just, you know, it's obvious. He's a waterbender. He's also very sensitive, right? And I, because of his poetry, and so that I feel like waterbenders, you gotta be sensitive. Which brings us to Harvey. He's a healer. He's a doctor. Waterbenders, known for being healers. So that's another easy peasy category. Then we got Haley. Now I know this might be surprising to you, but it's not to me. Why? She has blue eyes. Waterbender. Alright, next. <laughs> Penny. Very sensitive. Uh, I feel like she would... Like, if, if you broke her heart, she would, like, whip up a tsunami. I just feel it. Alright, next is Jazz. She's got blue eyes. Alright, next is Pam. And Pam Pam was difficult to put in a category. Because I was like, well, she has a fiery personality. Let's put her in the firebenders. But then I was like, you know what? She is always thirsty. <laughs> waterbender. Alright, then we got... Willie, obviously a waterbender. He is like the the master of waterbending. When you need to learn how to waterbend, boom, go to Willie. All right. Next is Earthbenders. First up, we got Abigail. I mean, she literally eats the earth. She eats those amethysts. Caroline. I don't really know why I put her here, but she's here. It's not just because she had green hair. I think it's a uh... the tea room. What? The she grows tea. Room. Oh, the tea. Yeah, mm -hmm. tea. Exactly. Yep. Alrighty. Then we got Leah because she's all about that earth. She's like, look, I picked up more forage than you. You suck. Go over there. I'm going to eat my salad over here. That's earth for you. <laughs> True. Alright, next we got Clint. He is pretty obvious because he's a metal bender. And uh, if you don't watch Avatar, you got to be an earth bender to be a metal bender. All right, my nerd is showing. Let's go <clears throat> next, Linus. <laughs> uh, Linus, he is basically is one with nature. All right, uh, he will take off all his clothes, meet in the water, as shown by Brokel. He <laughs> will pick up all the forage. Alrighty, next, Marnie. She's a farmer. That's it. All right, next is <laughs> Robin. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> earthbenders are known. <laughs> earthbenders are known to be stubborn, stubborn, and I feel like Robin's got that stubborn personality, and she also knows how to work an axe. So, like, true. Yeah, and she makes stuff out of the earth, aka wood. And so, yeah, earthbender material. All right, next we have firebenders. Alright, this was a tough one. 
because uh, Firebending is <clears throat> one of my favorites. But not all of these are my favorites, like Alex. So I thought that he would be a great Firebender because he has that like He's that evil. personality. He's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we're we're past we're past the Firebenders being evil. All right. All right. But no, he'll be a, he's a firebender because he has that ego of like, I'm the best. I could blow up your, you, and you know, <laughs> the fire. <laughs> All right, next is Sebastian. I feel like he would hide in his little man cave, practicing like the little fire, fire in his hand, like put a little sparkle. I, I feel like the motorcycle is fiery, is hot. All right, he's hot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and uh, yeah. All right, next is Shane. Now you may be asking why? Why would Shane be a firebender? I feel like if he could, he would commit arson on Joja. All right, next is this guy, George. <laughs> um, I feel it in the soul, like in the way he looks at you, the way he stares at you. I feel like in the past he was like a master firebender. He would destroy. Right, Grandpa. if you zoom in, like, actually zoom into his eyes, there's, like, little fires in there. I see that, oh. actually, now that you mention it. Alright, Gus is next. Gus is because he cooks, and you need fire to cook, or you need a hot heat, and that's it. So next is <clears throat> Jody, because she has red hair, but also she has that, uh, the, like, you're gonna do what I ask right now. Or I'll light a fire under your butt. <laughs> I can see it. Next see it. is Sandy, because she's hot. Next yes. is Airbenders. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the Airbenders, again, pretty tricky. We only got four here, alright? So first up, we got Sam. I feel like he would do an ollie and jump right over the summit. Also, he's like, his hair is up in the air. And so I thought, wow. Hair, you know? hair. Makes yeah. sense, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Gotta be an <laughs> Right, exactly, exactly. Next, we got Emily. Now, here's the reason why I thought of her. is because she's an airhead. In my honest wow. opinion. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's not <laughs> okay. I feel like, I feel like um. she's in... She's, to me, that just means she's in her own head, in her own space, <laughs> in her own world. All right? She's up in the air with the butterflies. Okay. And the birds. Emily. <laughs> Am I wrong or am I right? I'm right. All right. Next is Leo because he's a bird. All right. Next is Vincent. <laughs> now, Vincent, look at those eyes. That's like Avatar Aang right there. That's airbender quality. I actually considered photoshopping his hair off and then putting that arrow right here because I was like, that's literally like the concerned ape watch Avatar last airbender and was like, whoa, Aang, Vincent, boom. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. and then I didn't have time to do that because I've been moving all day. Alright, next is non-benders. <laughs> now, these can be just as important as the benders. Like, I don't know if you've watched Avatar Last Airbender, but Sokka, anyone? Yeah, thought so. So, first up, we have Maru. I feel like she would be a non-bender because she's a scientist. Alright? So, she can make her own bending. She can, yeah, she can whip up a... Yeah, exactly. She could whip up... <laughs> whoop up a, a a weapon or like i don't know medicine she's a nurse all right next is dimitri because he's her dad no other reason all right kent <laughs> uh, i feel like he's a non-bender and i feel like his military background kind of helps that along it's like he had to prove himself so he went into the military uh yeah all right next is lewis uh to make up for not bending he uh was mayor of the town. He needed that. He needed the control of something, so he controls Stardew because he can't control a bending power because he doesn't have one. All right. Next is Pierre. Um, he's an asshole and doesn't deserve bending. All right. Next is the master of all four elements, aka the Avatar. Are you ready for this? I, it's I'm you. ready. It's you and the wizard. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh we, we didn't see the wizard. It's you and the wizard. All right. Make your dreams come true. You too can be an avatar. That's the end. That was great. Wow. Nice. Love beautiful. it. Love it. Love it. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful. It was very inspirational. Honestly, it makes the wizard even more daddy. So thanks for that. Of 
course, of course. Okay, I guess I'm left. Let's go, Let me Lee. See if I can actually figure Are this out. Ready? Hold on. We want to be a part of it too. Well, so yours yeah, is spicy really too. Different. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what yes, you're talking about. Um, this is just about plants. This is just about plants. <laughs> Only, Only plants. plants. Right, right, right. Zuzu Hell City yeah. folks just don't get it, guys. All right? All right. Onlyplants.com. Um, so I was inspired by Onlyfans.com, but it is now Stardew. Only Plants is a farming membership service based in Pelican Town and founded by Mayor Lewis. Stardew players can earn money from villagers who subscribe to their content, The Plants. It allows villagers to receive funding directly from their farmers on a seed-by-seed -seed basis, as well as multiplication bonuses and a pay-per-grow feature. There's a limited time offer at the moment if you guys are interested. 50% off for 30 seeds. Don't tell Pierre. <laughs> All right. Parsnips, of course. The pure foundation of Stardew Valley. You have to have parsnips. Um, and why? Because who can forget their first? Oh, it's inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> and they're easy to throw away when you're done with them. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, next up on our list, we have strawberries. Um, is there any crop you grind harder for than the sweet, oh sweet taste of strawberries in Stardew? <laughs> it's limited edition. You can only buy it on the 13th. Hello. And the seeds are priceless. Did you know that seeds sold for nothing in this game for strawberries? I didn't oh. until I looked it up. Um, ancient fruit. It's exclusive. You have to find it. Your love grows in 28 days and it lasts longer. Uh, used for filling the missing piece in your life and her roots grow very deep. Oh, snap. The deep you can't act. Well, this is actually from the wiki. <laughs> um, you can't true. actually put an ancient fruit in a uh, plant pot, which I didn't know. Um, but there you go. Coffee. It's thick. Speeds you up and keeps you coming back for more. All right, next. <laughs> um, melon, the pink thing, the juicy thing, the big bomba fruit, mm -hmm. a cool, sweet summer treat and can grow quite large. Of course, this needed to be in our presentation. They All right, look amazing. Next up, next up, star fruit. Well, you get it from a cute redhead. Hello. Oh. And it's the second most expensive profit yielding crop. Peach, subtle, juicy peaches. It's oh. almost fuzzy to the touch. Mm -hmm. oh, nice God. shape. Nice I mean, shape. Like, peach, nothing. <laughs> Not said. Oh, good. Yeah. Sweet Gemberry. It's unique <clears throat> and exclusive. You make an offering to Old Master Cannoli, and you're, he's still looking for the sweetest taste. You're going to bring it to him. All right. Um, eggplants. <laughs> of course, we needed to have the eggplants. You cultivate it from a bush, and it keeps coming back for more. So I'm just going to, yeah. And uh, last but not least, we have amaranth, uh, of course. Mature plants yield amaranth, rolling in the hay. I have nothing else to say about this subject. Um, honorable it. mentions to, to kiwi fruit and blueberries. <laughs> all right, all right. And that's that's my presentation. This is great. Very nice. Love it. <laughs> Very nice. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. My favorite was the melons. <laughs> Dude, My I'm favorite was a peach. Melons. Am I right? Lee and Lee side chat by and whoever else melons. streaming chat. The peach. Am I right? Peach. All right. Peach. I don't know. You know <laughs> big big fan of that ancient fruit. You know, ancient means old, so technically, you know, uh someone put that technically ancient fruit would be the milf of plants, since it is Oh no. <laughs> oh, the oh, oldest. No. This is what oh, dreams are made of, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, thanks for participating, y'all. I appreciate <laughs> it. Us. It was so much fun. Yeah. I loved it. We'll have to do another one sometime soon. Obviously, when we come up, we all come up with different ideas of sorts. Um, yeah, so. it'll be fun. <laughs> I'll bless thanks you guys again. Us. Thanks for having us, Lee. Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you for Good your celebration. So yeah, guys, thank you for go celebrating with me. I appreciate it. Go check out it. me, guys. Um, all right. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye.